Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tim and today and for today's video we are going to expose Lightroom. So for today's video we are going to expose the and we're going to explore the three major areas in Lightroom that uh, everyone should know. I made a video about it uh, a few weeks back, but basically today we are going we are going to explore the exposure part. And in this um in this part of the video and this part of or in in this part of in Lightroom is one of the most important um, aspects and if we don't know we don't know how to use it we are basically um, going to just uh, edit with no no plan no structure and um, you know sometimes that works but uh, if you're a beginner and you don't know where to start uh, keep watching this video I'm gonna teach you um, the exposure part and for the next next few weeks we're going to look at the colors and the effects and breaking that down and hopefully I can help you uh, become a, a better edit your photos uh, through these videos so stick around and uh, we're gonna look at the exposure portion of Lightroom today so let's go uh, let's go to Lightroom and I picked this photo of Lake Louise back in summer 20 20 and uh, I was staying at uh, Fairmont um, Lake Louise and so you know this this is what's taken around 7 or 8 a.m. and the clouds are the clouds are very low but the sunlight was there so it the, the light is a little bit harsh but um, at the same time it's 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 doable it's workable and this is where a good idea where we can uh, start off in uh, in, e in exploring the exposure part of Lightroom. Uh, so you know I'm taking this photo, assuming that you have already um, you've already taken taken some photos and trying to improve your editing. So first things first is make sure that you have the right exposure when you are taking your taking your photos but I mean by that is it depends on, uh, on cameras but or and your ability but try to keep your histogram kind of uh, spread out and not just not just uh, uh, bunched up on one side either on left side or right side uh, so first of all pick that photo that you want to edit and second is we're going to look at the exposure part now what I like to do most of the time is I like to um, press that auto but button and this tells me what uh, Lightroom thinks the photo should be um, and so it kind of does the exposure part for you um, it puts up the the exposure a little bit up the contrast a little bit up the highlights all the way down or a little bit down uh, shadows all the way some you know like a good way up the whites a little bit down and the blacks are a little bit down and so we're just gonna uh, take that up and we're going to explore all these functions because all every single one of them exposure contrast highlight shadows whites and blacks they all uh, contribute to the exposure of the the photo um, but we need to find out which section which part of that photo is it actually exposing so first things first if we just go from top down we are going to look at the exposure the exposure um, makes everything brighter or darker um, on both light and shadows of of the photo so if, if you can see in this photo um, where the mountains are there's a little bit of um, that's where the light is coming from and then where you see the the mountains on the side where the lake is there's there's some shadows there right that's what i mean by light and shadows um so if we look at the exposure and put it up and this exposes both of the the light and the shadows and if we just go all the way up it's obviously overexposed and this is what i mean in the histogram that it's on one side or the other if you put it here it sometimes our photos look like that where it's bunched up on one side um so I kind of agree with the the auto mode on this one is that it kind of it seems to be it's it's better that if 
it's a little bit up so I'll put it I'll put it like around here all right so um, if you look at our photo again this the the ice the ice part the glacier part is a little bit overexposed but we're gonna fix that later so the contrast portion next one down is it it's the contrast between your light and dark all right so if you put it up it makes the you can really tell which ones is the the shadows and the light in this in this uh, example if you turn it down it lessens that contrast between the light and the shadows so uh depends on your style depends on the mood that you're trying to uh put it into the your photo is i, I tend to be a little bit down um it, because it just brings out that softness in a in a what a photo should be and you're not in we're later on when you look at the effects portion with clarity and dehaze that contrast is really going to play a role in in those portions so in my in my style is that i like to put the contrast a little bit down as we move on to our highlights that talks about the the light of the photo not just the, ex the exposure of the the whole photo it talks about just the the light areas uh, of the photo so like i said wherever the, the ice on the top on the middle right uh there's some ice that are overexposed and we can fix that by putting the highlights down. This means that you're lowering, you're softening the light that is um, that is in this photo, right? So if you see, if you, if you put it the other way, you will see that part being super exposed right here. So I tend to lower this down quite a bit. Um, my style is a little bit darker, but still uh, looking at my histogram. Now we're, look, we're looking at the shadows. So the shadows is basically where the <laughs> shadows are in the photo. So the darker part, um, not necessarily the blacks, that were, that's where the, the section where it says blacks, but it's not necessarily the, the, the color black, it's talking about where the shadows of are. And so um, it really depends on you. Again, experiment on this. Um, if you put this down, you will see the shadows are a little bit dark. Uh, if you put it up, it exposes those shadows quite a bit, and it reveals details in it reveals details in the photo. So, uh, for this one, I would like for me, I would in my preference, I would put this kind of here, like kind of all the way up. Um, and once you fix, and one thing we need to uh, realize in Lightroom is once you fix one section let's say shadows it tends to affect other areas so like we talk about the the highlights now is kind of exposed again so we can either lower our highlights again or we can lower the exposure right um but in this case i would say i would rather lower the highlights all the way down um, the whites, it talks about the, the color whites that are in the photo. So let's say the glaciers are the whites and I can lower that down. And the blacks is that if you lower it down, it will make the color black darker or like that. Or if you turn it up a bit, it softens that, that black quite a bit. In this case, because there's still shadows in the photos, um, I would just lower this a little bit just be careful and make minor adjustments not go don't go too crazy with the meter um so yeah for me my preference i would say that that's that's pretty good for me um but we can elevate that uh, elevate that photo more using the curve right here the curve button and this is probably what most people um miss is that when you when you play around with this this s curve this this curve area you can uh you, you're not, we're not even touching the colors we're not talk, we're not touching the effects yet just touching uh this s curve this curve portion of the exposure will will bring emotion to your photo and so starting from top to bottom 
is we have your um, your whites, your highlights, your middle, your shadows, and then your black. So if you go, so this is your white, and you press on it, you can add dots. And that'll be your highlights. That'll be your middle. And that'll be your shadows, and this will be your black. So um, the highlights here tends to be a little bit, you know, harsh already. So we might lower your whites and highlights. Um, and you know that really ups really depends on you. But a good rule of thumb on on the on the curve is try to make an S, so you can. For an example of that is we can lower, uh, bring the highlights a little bit up, shadows a little bit down, and then your blacks on the bottom oh, a little bit up. So it kind of makes an S, a small S. And just by doing that, look at the photos already, already look better. Um, or if you don't like that, you can you know reset it, double tap, double tap it. All right. Uh, you can make something like this, just two dots, where the middle ground, mid, the middle portion, just leave it alone, and you know bring the highlight up, shadows down, and then soften that black by bringing it up. Um, that's that's a good uh, portion. As, that's a good uh, edit as well. I would like that. Maybe I'll bring this a little bit down. Um, but like I said, you gotta you gotta play around with this. You can, some people would just um, press in that middle ground and then just bring it down like that. Um, so play around with the S curves. Some I've seen uh, uh, famous um, photographers just do this, where they just play around with their shadows and blacks, right? Just like that. Um, and you can add as many dots as you can as well. Uh, I'm not gonna try to limit your creativity uh, on on this section. Just, I just want you to play around with it. Um, but yeah, the more uh, play around with the S curve, and you, you can see where uh, you can bring up your your creativity to a next level. So, uh, so for me, I would say this is my favorite one. Again, this is depends on your style. Um, I really like this. Just softens that black. Uh, it tends to be, uh, it tends to be a little bit more, you know, moody and Instagram worthy, I guess. But yeah, that's it. So play around with the exposure section, like, and you know, just play back to this video, uh, what each each section does, and yeah. That is the exposure exposure section in Lightroom. And so if you like this video, please like or, and subscribe. And next week or um, f next videos, we're going to talk about the color section, um, it, color section in Lightroom. And so thanks for watching and have a good one.